All right, so here's the first room that's wired up on the dimmer switch here. This is a series of overhead incandescent lights that are currently wired up to a WS467 wall switch. Uh, cool thing is it's a soft start, so if you push the button here, you can see that the lights will raise and dim as they shut themselves off. You can also adjust the brightness of the lights. Once they're on, you push and hold the switch and you can manually dim them up and down. And then when you turn it off, it kind of has a soft start option to it. Now, um, because addressing is an issue, um, I've got those macros set up, but you can also see how it works uh, via remote control. I've got my little palm held here and uh, works like a charm. Actually, it's pretty slick. Now, if you come around the corner, I also wired up a similar thing in the TV room so that in the TV room, you can use the same remote control to raise and lower the, uh, the lights in the TV room. Now, these are also incandescents. Uh, the compact flash, the compact fluorescent ones don't work real well. And uh, again, you can see the WS467 is installed here. Uh, I'm going to be swapping these out for, uh, for the WS12As. They're a little bit heavier duty ones and they're uh, a little bit easier and nicer on the eyes. So um, because the rest of these switches, this controls the fan, this controls the light on the fan, and these are both kitchen lights that are a three-way setup. The only options you have from X10 is these switches are the full square plates. So in order to keep it looking nice, I'm just going to put, install all the nice ones. So anyway, more to come, and uh, hopefully this will help somebody and give some folks some ideas.